there are plenty of people who have wanted this for a while, and now we've got it. Roger Stone on a couch. Yeah. All the secrets. Yeah. Let me lay down. Oh. Um, what does Roger Stone wear to a riot? Uh, well, I gave him the full Harry F. Byrd Sr. yesterday, the white linen suit, the uh, solid black tie, and spectator shoes. I mean, if you're not going to wear it in uh, July in Cleveland, where are you going to wear it? <laughs> What about the Melania speech? Well, I think we now know who wrote the speech. Uh, I understand it was Bill Ayers. Uh, okay, Melania uh, 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 Trump did not write her speech. Barack Obama didn't write his book. I just don't, the, don't think the voters care. I think they care more and will be affected more about the image and presence and presentation overall of, of Melania Trump. I have known Melania for 18 years, um, and in many ways, I think she's, she's very much like Jacqueline Kennedy in the sense that she is uh, refined, she is educated, she speaks multiple languages, she is more comfortable being photographed than she is speaking in public. I ask you, you mentioned Ivanka Trump. What do you think, what role is she going to have? Do you think that it's going to be larger as, it, as, it, as the campaign progresses? Yeah, look, uh, first of all, I've uh, known her since she was a child, uh, and um, uh, she is one of the most amazing women I have ever met. In terms of her ability to keep all these balls in the air, she is running a large chunk of the Trump Organization. She is running her own businesses. She is a, she is a wife. She is a mother. Uh, she is a fashion icon. She always looks like a million dollars. She exercises like a demon. Uh, she, is, uh, she is very approachable, very likable, very, um, uh, uh, you know, very normal. How does Donald Trump improve his standing among African Americans from in one poll zero percent to say one percent. Yeah, I don't believe that poll. I think it is uh, flawed uh, because I think there are aspects of his campaign that are aspirational, particularly the middle class Amer uh, African American voters want a piece of the American pie. They don't want to be employees. They want to be employers. They're looking for success. I think for many of them, Trump symbolizes success. But there's a flip side to this. The reason that we have so many young African-American men incarcerated for nonviolent crimes in the possession of small amounts of drugs is because of the three strikes of your outlaw signed by William Jefferson Clinton at the behest of uh, Dick Morris as an effort to get reelected. And you'll send him memos and then every once in a while you'll hear a memorable phrase? He, he is uh, kind of like Lyndon Johnson. He's a very aggressive user of the telephone. He calls a broad cross-section of people to get their opinion. Rudy Giuliani, uh, for example. Uh, Roger Ailes, who's a friend, been a friend of for 40 years. Uh, he, you know, he, is, uh, he reaches out. He digests it. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, nobody puts words in his mouth. I know. I've tried for 40 <laughs> years, and it just does not work. A possible uh, vice presidential pick for Hillary Clinton is Senator Tim Kane, Democrat of Virginia, what do you think of him? Guy's so boring, he dyes his Easter eggs white. <laughs> Tim, Tim Kane walked into a Richmond restaurant and he ordered vanilla ice cream and wheat tea. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more? How's, how's your bill set? <laughs> I mean, we're good on those. You know, the guy tried to give a fireside chat, the fire would fall asleep. <laughs> I think that's about it. Henny, that's just... Henny Youngman, ladies and gentlemen. Okay.